Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Selly. We are back on our Regulator 34 project. We've gone ahead, we've got our Optimus system all dialed in as you saw in a previous video. So that means we've got our position, our heading hold, we've got our, our joystick steering, we've got all of that stuff all dialed in. So now we're actually gonna go out onto the water and we're gonna do some sea trials. Right now we've got, the, like I said, we've got the Verado 400s back there. We're sitting on about three quarters of a tank of fuel. Pretty nice weather out there actually today and we're churning inertia 20 pitch three blade props on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and get some baseline numbers, put it through the paces, run it both ways so we, we can get a, a baseline and uh, start to figure out what this prop what this boat's going to need for props. I think this is going to get us a good baseline. I'm betting we're probably going to want a four blade on here. Probably going to go down a pitch or two. We'll, we'll see. We'll get out in the water. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. And uh, let's get away from the dock and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we are out on the water right now. Like I said, we're going to be running the inertia 20 pitch props. They're a three blade. We're going to do two runs. First run uh, against the current here on the river. So let's go see what this thing can do, guys. Let's check it out. And this is with no active trim. So here we go. We're going to punch it up. Full, tr uh, full tuck, and we are doing uh, 4,600 RPMs, and we're seeing 43 miles an hour with that. Now, we go ahead and we bring that trim up. Really start fighting that current here. about 55 on that one there. All right guys, so on that one, I think we saw about 5,600, 5,700. So we're about a thousand RPMs off uh, from where we should be for manufacturer's rated specs. Now to be fair, we are going against a pretty strong head current. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna whip the boat around here, and we're gonna try going the other way. We're gonna see what kind of numbers we can get out of it. And again, we go through all of this so we can figure out what our prop baseline needs to be so we can start making some tweaks. Do we need to bring the motors up? Do we need to maybe go down a pitch, maybe add a blade, go to a four blade? Uh, that's kind of what we have to do when we're going through all this dialing in and tuning process. It's not just as simple as throwing a motor on, send it out the door, especially when we get to something as custom as these Verado 400s on a regulator 34. Like I said, nobody's reached out to me yet. I think we're still the first ones to have put Verado 400s on the back of a 34. So let's go spin this thing around and see what we can get going the other way. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna whip this thing around. Like I said, we've got some fast water going the other way, I think, here. So should give us a little better top end. But again, we're getting some baseline numbers here. Kind of see what we've got going on. Should also be noted we are not using the active trim at this point in time. We're just trying to get some raw data numbers between fuel burn and speed. So we'll throttle her down a little bit. It also should be noted we're running it with the Sea Keeper. So we're staying nice and steady while we're going, doing all this stuff. So here we go, guys. We're going to punch it up. Forty-four hundred, forty-five hundred, 4,500, full tuck, 48 miles an hour, 49 miles an hour, still climbing. Now we're going to trim it up. 
So depending on which GPS antenna we're looking at, on our Merc display here, I saw 63 miles an hour. On our Ray Marines over here, we're showing 61.2. But we're still coming up about a thousand RPM shy on where we want to be. So we definitely know that we're a little overpropped right now. Also, we're running a little bit of old fuel. Fuel in here is about a year old. We've done some fuel additives to try to help give us a better chance at that. But this is just some of the trials and tribulations we have to go through when dialing in these type of boats. You have to go do these runs, you have to data log everything here, and make sure that we can then put it into the spreadsheet, put it in the prop calculator, spits out a number on the back end for us. So that's it. That's the first test run, Inertia 20s. We've done a two-way run there. We saw 63 or 61, depending on which GPS we we're looking at. And uh, we're getting closer to dialing it in. I think we still got about four or five more miles an hour to get out of the old girl. And uh, we're going to get some wheels here, put it on there. And as soon as we do, you're going to see another episode of that. So stay tuned, guys. And thanks for tuning in. As always, you know the spiel. Give us a follow. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics to stay up to date with the latest marine tips, techs, and trends. Craig, thanks for hanging out and coming out for the ride here and getting this thing dialed in. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Peace.